All right, we've been building to this moment all morning long. We are sitting down live with the first ever seven time recipient of the CMA Entertainer of the Year, the first and only artist in history to receive nine Diamond Awards, and the number one selling solo artist in U.S. history. You got that right, Northeast Kansas. It is Garth Brooks. We're all buzzing with excitement for his first ever concert at Arrowhead Stadium coming on August 7th, and here to let you know on how to get your own tickets, but we can't do that without the man himself. So we welcome country music legend Garth Brooks to our program this morning. Oh my goodness, <laughs> he's live <laughs> via Zoom. Garth, first of all, thank you so much for being with us. Such an honor to have you here to join us in Topeka in Northeast Kansas this morning. Good morning to yourself. Good morning. That was a <laughs> That was quite an intro. I was like, oh my God, who's going to be on here? So I, know. I was excited. That's, uh, that's very sweet. It's, um, <laughs> it's time to get to come home. And, and we are so excited about this. And, you know, half the band and crew is from Topeka and from Kansas. So this, this is going to be, this is going to be a family reunion at high volume. I, I'm going to tell you right now, it's going to be way too loud, way too much fun. Oh, that is so exciting, and I know a lot of folks around here are really excited, us mm -hmm. included. Now, it's your first time to play at Arrowhead Stadium, and it'll be the first time it's open at full capacity since the pandemic. So how excited are you for that? I'm excited. This is actually like the 25th time I've played Arrowhead Stadium in my dreams, right? <laughs> this is the place that everybody wants to play because, you know, it's dubbed the loudest stadium uh, in the nation. But get ready because we're getting ready. We're going to we're going to blow the doors off that bad. It's, this is going to be fun. I just can't wait to plug it in and play and just watch it. That's that's kind of what I do. People go, you're an entertainer. I said, no, I'm, I'm a fan. And, and it's so much fun to just start songs like The River and then sit back and watch what happens and then start songs like The Thunder Rolls or The Dance or Friends in Low Places and just watch what happens. It's 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 pretty fun to get to be Mr. Yearwood at that point. <laughs> Garth, can you give us any idea about the show itself, the song list maybe, or an opening act? Well, the, the thing with the song list is this, guys. I, I'm a fan, and so I think you're a fan before you're ever an artist. So what, I can't use the right word here, but what really ticks me off worse than anything is going to a concert and somebody dumping a whole new album on me. I, I came there for the old stuff. So, so we come and we bring all of our old stuff with us. So if you're not steeped in Garth Brooks music, fix that because we're going to be playing a lot of cowboy stuff. We're going to be playing a lot of old stuff and they let you play some new stuff in there too. Just, just know that the night's going to be long. So bring some comfortable, uh, comfortable, uh, clothes and uh, let's get this party started. <laughs> I don't think it'll be any problem for people here in Kansas or Missouri to uh, be steeped in Garth Brooks music before the show. <laughs> so KC usually show it sells out really quickly, like historically for your shows. What do you want to tell our viewers that are really desperate to get to see you? Oh, uh, well, <laughs> this, this is Arrowhead Stadium where you can It's one of the largest stadiums on the planet. I'm not, I'm not worried. I, I think anybody that wants a ticket, uh, I think will be more than uh, able to get one. It's just, it's just sweet. And the truth is, man, it doesn't matter if it's, if it's a hundred, a hundred thousand, or if it's 10, it's all about that, that connection that you get to make while you get to play that music in Kansas city. We have played for 10. And we have got to play for a hundred thousand and the connection is the same. It's it just, you talk about sincere. This is the place every artist, band and crew wants to be. And we're lucky enough to get to be there. Garth, yes, no, or maybe. Will Trisha make a brief appearance? Well, we're always together. Uh, you know, when we got married, we'd both have been married before. So we said, why are we being married to be apart? So we travel everywhere together. It's just up to the queen to see uh, what she's got going because she's the busiest person on the planet. So uh, we'll see it for me. The show only gets better if Miss Yearwood is part of it. <laughs> I, like I the love it. I love it too. Well, Garth Brooks live on KSNT News this morning. Thank you so much for sharing some time with us. We cannot wait to see the performance on August 7th. I know I personally am just like giddy with excitement over here. <laughs> I know. He's always got a smile and so much energy coming through. Oh yeah, that was lovely. So here's what you need to know ticket wise. They go on sale tomorrow at 10 a.m. There is an eight ticket limit per purchase and only three ways to get them. Ticketmaster online, the phone number on your screen right now or the Ticketmaster app. And they're expected to go really fast, like really, really fast. So you don't want to run into tech trouble tomorrow morning at 10. Have that plan ready to go, whether you're going online, using the phone number or the app. Ticketmaster also suggests having your personal and also credit card info updated right now and maybe scroll through their help page beforehand just in case you run into issues. Again, Garth Brooks with his first ever concert at Arrowhead is something you just can't miss. And we have posted all the information you need on our website at KSNT.com.